So in this video we are going to learn about the vertical tracing of the peritoneal cavity. You can see this picture. This section is sagittal section or mid sagittal section. What you can see in this picture above we have the diaphragm. Okay, this is a diaphragm. Below that we have the liver and small portion of the stomach, transverse colon. Behind we have the duodenum and pancreas. And all these are the small intestine, coils of the small intestine. So we will start the tracing of the peritoneal cavity. We will start from the anterior abdominal wall. So the parietal peritoneum lying the anterior abdominal wall. Then it is going inferior side of the diaphragm. Then it is reflecting on the liver. So this we are drawing this is the first layer one layer is related to the posterior abdominal wall and this is also reflecting and enclosing the liver this is the second layer again these two layers will reflect from the porta hepatis this is the porta hepatis here they are reflecting from the porta hepatis and going toward the stomach so they will enclose the stomach first layer will cover the stomach from the anterior side and second layer will enclose the stomach from posterior side so this is from the posterior side now this first layer is coming downward for some extent and folding on itself similarly we have the second layer it is coming downward and folding on itself and going posteriorly and line the posterior abdominal wall structure and meeting with the same layer now the first layer is coming and it is enclosing the transverse colon and going posteriorly and it covering the anterior part of the duodenum and going downwards and it will enclose the coils of the small intestine you can see this small intestine like this small intestine is suspended by this fold of the peritoneum this fold we call it as mesentery and the portion between the liver and the stomach this portion liver and the stomach this is known as the lesser omentum and the portion which is going below or downwards that is known as the greater omentum that means was lesser omentum is above the stomach and greater omentum is below the stomach so you can say lesser omentum is related with the lesser curvature of the stomach and greater omentum is related with the greater curvature of the stomach to make it more clear i will draw here roughly one diagram this is the cut portion of the stomach you can see and posteriorly we have the transverse colon this is the transverse colon this is the stomach so now we have the first layer this is covering the anterior surface of the stomach and going downwards as a greater omentum this is the second layer covering the posterior surface of the stomach and going downwards and reflecting on itself and going toward the transverse colon so now this portion this much portion is the lesser omentum from where from liver we have the liver this side okay this is the liver from liver to the stomach we have the lesser omentum and below that below the stomach we have the greater omentum this is the this one is the greater omentum now this layer is coming and going backward like this and it is it will meet with the same layer similarly we have the other layer it is covering the transverse colon and going toward the posterior abdominal wall so this portion which is holding the transverse colon this is known as the transverse mesocolon and now i will mark the layers we have the first layer second layer third layer and the fourth layer of the peritoneum so the first layer is becoming now the fourth layer and second layer is becoming third layer now you can appreciate this cavity this cavity you can see this is behind the stomach or this is known as the lesser sac anterior to the stomach we have the greater sac 
so now we will trace it again further it is going toward the in the pelvic cavity it lies anterior to the rectum this is the rectum anterior to the rectum and it is reflecting on the urinary bladder and it is meeting with the same layer of the anterior abdominal wall parietal peritoneum okay so this is the urinary bladder so in the male between the rectum and the urinary bladder you will find one pouch that is known as the retro recto vesical pouch in the male what we have recto vesical pouch in the male recto vesical pouch so the similar layer in the female we have the rectum we have the uterus and the urinary bladder so the same layer is coming is covering the anterior surface of the rectum and making like a pouch and reflecting on the uterus covering the uterus and reflecting on the upper surface of the urinary bladder and going anteriorly so this pouch and this pouch we have two pouch so this one is the recto uterine pouch and this pouch is the utero vesical pouch so in case of the male we have only one pouch in case of the female there are two pouches so this is about the vertical tracing of the peritoneum now we are moving toward the horizontal tracing so in the horizontal section we have taken the section at the t12 vertebra this is the horizontal section so this picture you are seeing from the downward suppose this one person is there so we have taken the section like this okay and you are seeing from inferior side so that's why you will see the liver this is the liver on the right side so this is the right side this is the left side this is the anterior side and this is the posterior side so in this section you will appreciate this liver is fully enclosed by the visceral layer like this and it is getting reflected on the anterior abdominal wall this is the parietal layer okay and this portion which will attach between the liver and the anterior abdominal wall that is known as the falciform ligament and now near the porta hepatis we have seen this layer is reflecting and enclosing the stomach okay this is enclosing the stomach and this portion what we call this portion is lesser omentum this is the lesser omentum and this is the right free margin right free margin of the lesser omentum it is containing what it is containing the portal vein bile duct and the hepatic artery these are the content of the lesser omentum toward the liver or near the porta hepatis and toward the stomach these are also content of the lesser omentum what are these these are the gastric vessels so we have the along the lesser curvature we are having the left gastric artery and the right gastric artery now you can see these two layers this is one layer and second layer they are going toward the spleen so this is the spleen these two layers going toward the spleen from the stomach so they will form this ligament this ligament is known as gastro splenic ligament from the stomach to the spleen gastro splenic ligament these two layers if you will see this anterior layer and the posterior layer they are going toward the spleen and this first layer this anterior layer will enclose the spleen fully and it will also cover the this is the left kidney it will also cover the anterior surface of the left kidney then going backward toward the anterior abdominal wall now the second layer is coming and it is covering the left kidney and also it will cover the many structure in the posterior abdominal wall and it is covering the right kidney also then it will meet with the same layer anterior abdominal wall so this will complete the horizontal section and the portion which is reflecting from the spleen to the left kidney this portion this will form one ligament that is known as lino renal ligament
okay this ligament is between the spleen and the left kidney so it means the posterior layer is covering the all the structure abdominal aorta is there inferior vena cava is there and the right kidney is there then is reflecting on the anterior abdominal wall and it will complete the horizontal tracing so this was about the peritoneal tracing vertically and horizontally <laughs>